Hello, everyone. I am Jehovah. Welcome to Tabletop Simulator. Got more folks here, and we're uh, testing out a little bit of a uh, game that I'm working on called 1818. It's in its very early, early stages, so uh, no need to judge as of yet. Right now, it's basically a tile set game, and the first part of this, what we're testing now, is uh, each player takes Over a turn. Mountains. You're not supposed to be looking, man. <laughs> cheater! Cheater! We're uh, just starting out trying to figure out if this uh, process works. The idea is that you place these tiles down, you don't know what they are, and uh, they reveal themselves throughout the game. Yeah, I see you flipping them. You're not supposed to be looking at them. What? Yeah, so the idea is that we don't know what they are when we place them down. Uh, I already forgot the first one, so don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. Yeah, we're both just learning this thing here, trying to figure it out. But the idea is the map is, um, you know, player created every game. So you can kind of put it how you want, but you don't really know what the tiles are. And we'll kind of get into, you know, the whole process of what this is. It's it's kind of, it's just, you know, it's, it's really like StarCraft or Age of Empire, or any of those kind of games. Um, collect resources, build a town, uh, either, you know, create a huge economy or a huge army and take out your opponents. So... I've developed this a little bit on a uh, actual tabletop version. It had some web elements as well. I think you can do that in Tabletop Simulator also. So I might have to uh, build that again. It's been a few years since I built it. Built it in Flash, so I'll have to build it in JavaScript. Uh, maybe the game script itself has the ability to do that, so we can see. I'm brand new to Tabletop Simulator, so I'm sure you're going to see me make a ton of mistakes. Uh, if you want to comment below i'd be i'd love to hear from you you guys want to uh, pipe in and give me some advice on what you think would help the game i'm down for that too we can work on this as a community be fun to have something we could all get together and play you can see the maps coming along it's got these big gaps in the middle so the question is you know will morph put fill some of those up or will we leave those blanks those are good choke points you know could possibly be anyway Oh, Morse getting real good with his uh, placement here. You can actually spin it before you set it down. Look at that. Nice. Oh, he's, pl he's plugging a hole. There it is. Last one. I'm going to leave those open. All right, so now we'll drop our player down. Yeah, you first. Okay. All right, now we can flip the tile we're on and the one adjacent. All right, it looks like I'm oh, surrounded by forest. Got no trees. You got well. See, the hills will have a little bit of trees. So let's 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 talk about that for a second. So the idea is each one of these tiles. Let's go ahead and flip the rest of the map so we can see what it looks like real quick. Okay, so the idea morph is each turn. Uh, these things will automatically populate resources, whatever resources they are, by one tick per turn up to a max of like whatever we choose. Five seems like a good number, but it could be something else. So um, obviously you would get stone and um, eventually ore from the mountains, but you'd have to like research and get mining of some kind. The forest would give trees. 
I think um, I think hills should kind of like if if the tree if the forest gives two per turn maybe maybe the hills gives one stone and one um, one wood. What do you think about that? Makes sense, yeah. And then obviously I think farms should just give food, and then plains should give um, food and maybe a little bit of wood, like maybe one wood, one food. And and pl- and these fields are like two food, hills are like one wood, one stone, uh, forests are like two wood, mountains are like two stone. But then you can uh, develop mining. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So then the trick would be how to keep up with that. Um, you know, we could build tokens and stack them, right? And you could keep them almost like poker chips on your side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I could put them in a bag. Hmm. All right, let me... Let let me create something real quick. Let's see. Objects, components. Um, I don't have any like stone objects yet. I wonder if I could go to the workshop and f- well, you can't really stack like rocks on top of each other. Maybe I could just do like um, tokens. Hang on. Let's see, token. We, yeah, cards. I think if we did cards, they would be too big. You think tokens would be cool to stack them? Yeah, um, choose screen tokens for for wood. Create tokens for for mountain. Brown well, for. Uh, yeah, it's given me an option for image. So let me try, check this out. Let's see how this looks real quick. Uh, let's see, mountains, cloud, upload, stackable. Oh, I don't like that. The token's square. Let me try something else. Uh, I don't want to do model. Do I have to do a square token? Hmm. Can you minimize these these um, these pieces so that they are tokens? Oh, I see. Like make the same thing, just make them smaller. Yeah. 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 Hang on. Oh, an this, idea. this one's bigger. I don't know. No, that's a great idea. Hang on, let me try that. Uh, that would be what was what were those tiles? Okay, I can do circle tiles. Circle, uh, top image. We'll do mountain, cloud. Bottom image. We'll also do mountain. Cloud, uh, stackable, import. How about this guy right here? Yeah, it looks good, yeah. Maybe smaller? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. So then, like, every turn, you could grab them out of a bag. And st- oh, they kind of disappear. <laughs> um, you could you could name the tokens so they will they will be better seeable. I don't know if you name it once. So, yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. 
So I could make an infinity bag for that. Check this out. Uh, infinity bag. So now we can just grab it out of that bag. Okay. Oh, that's another thing. I don't like... If these pieces were board pieces, they would automatically grid up. I don't like everything being in the middle of the grid. I think we should be able to put it in another place, but I think because those are tokens like that, they grid up automatically. Let me try something different. Let's do custom tile. No, not a tile. A, um, not a model. Yes, sir. Um, when you go on the stone, and go to right click and then go to toggles and uh, put away the the uh, arrow for grid, then it's not uh, based on. Nice. That's excellent. Now put it back in the bag and then take it out and see if it went back to grid again. Yeah, so you have to do every one of I them. Guess, I guess you have to. Can you can you untoggle the the whole bag? Yeah, yeah, that works. Oh yeah, nice. Glad you're here, Morph. I'm kind of a dumbass. So did you done? Have you done it? Yeah, I've done it. See if it works. Well, it's still grids. Oh, I have snap set up here. Hang on, let's try that. Okay, I've turned off snap and grids. So let's see what that does. No, see, because I've got the grid set up that way. But once the map is set, we could always turn the grid off like this. Yeah. So now the grid is totally turned off. So we should be able to place it wherever we want. Yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 it works. Nice. All right, so let me, um, I'll make, I guess I'll make them for all of these and we'll make bags for them real quick. Um, so we'll make this one trees. We'll make this one trees. There we go, stackable import. And then I'll make a bag, infinity bag. For oh, we gotta not name those stone. Wood, wood. And we'll make one for for food. What did I have for food? Fields, this one right here, I believe. Uh, that one right there. Import, nice. And we'll do, this one is food. And food. There we go. And then we got to do one for um, well, that's it, isn't it? Food, wood, and stone. Yeah.
So I guess the real question is, you know, does it get really annoying to stack these every turn? I know what you mean. So like when the when the turn would be over, um, that it would automatically appear. I don't know if that if the game has that. I guess I could figure out how to write that into a script. That would be nice. I wonder what the scripting language is on this thing. I got to do some research. Like I said, I'm brand new to this, um, but I I know how to code a little bit. So if I could figure out the language, if it's just JavaScript, that would be gold. So this would be half wood, half stone. Yeah, but so since we don't have a half wood, half stone token, it would almost be like there would be two on the forest and only one wood here and one stone there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so it looks like we got everything set up for that turn. So then you would collect what you have uh, on your little guy right there. So you would take that and put that in your hand. So it doesn't, it, um, it doesn't matter if you put it on your board, I can see it, uh, that it's stone and it's wood. Yeah, um, that's a good point. I guess we should be able to hide those. We could do like Fog of War, I think. So I did hide face down. So if I want to hide it, then it's uh, face down. But you can still see it if you hover over it, I think. No, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, if it's like this, I can't see it. Yeah, the problem is I can't see it either. <laughs> there may be something where we can hide our hands uh, based on our little area. Let me see. Oh, man. So, as you can tell, guys, we got... Uh, Disable unused hiding, default reverse, disabled hands. Everyone except the hand owner can see the hand. Only the hand owner can see their hand. Well, that doesn't seem to be correct. Should player hands hold objects? Maybe I haven't put it in my hand. How do I do that? Uh, let's see. Objects. Huh. Tools. No. Oh, there are counters. Hey, there are counters in this. You can read my counter, though, can't you? Zero. Can you just read it now? It says three. Can you see it now? It's three, yeah. There should be a way to hide <clears throat> things that are in your hand, but I got to figure that out. Options. I'm sure somebody's yelling at the screen right now. If you're uh, watching, I don't know if my chat is working, so I apologize if anybody's watching this and not seeing it, but and not being able to say anything. Uh, let's see, game keys, action. I don't know how to set any of those. Uh, no. Can you, can you see mine? hand nope just two question marks all right because uh, i can see them oh that's in your hand okay so mine are not in my hand for some reason yeah you have to put it in your hand and then okay i see that Put it in hands, and then don't hide face down. Um, don't hide face down. Okay, can you see the things in my hand? Uh, just question marks. You can't even see the the counter. No, negative. All right, so the next question is, I got to figure out how we can make the hands bigger, like a whole side of the table. So that, because we could just put counters there. I don't know, what do you think? Having a counter there to figure out how much wood and stuff we have, or just to keep stacking tokens? Um. I guess we can start with tokens, right? Now we have to see what, what makes more sense, I guess. 
Okay, and the other thing we got to figure out is the amount of movement that our person has. So we haven't moved this turn, so we have a, a, a one movement value. And I'm thinking... What about, what about rolling a dice? One and two is one, two and three is two. Uh, one and two is one, two and three is two, four and five. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me see what the dice options are. Uh, do you think there's a basic movement for infantry of one is enough? When the map is that done. Yeah, because the maps are going to be pretty small. What we could do... Because there's a four-sided dice, which will give you a one, two, or a three. Let me look at this real quick. Problem is... Yeah, we can just say the bottom value is the, the number for that. So you pick it up and you shake it and then you throw it like a dice. If you let it go when you're like pushing left or right, it'll it'll fly down the table instead of just falling. Whoa, what did you just do there? You just uh, pressed R, like rolling, many times. Yeah. Can you can you upsize the the dice? Yeah, much better. So I would have got a one right there. Yep. Okay, if we're going to do it that way, which is not a bad idea, we have to assign values for how much movement it takes to enter this uh, hexagon. I mean, um, how difficult to terrain is. Yeah, so like the grass would just be, it only takes one to enter there. So if you got a four, you could Makes go once, you know, across. And then maybe farms are the same. I don't know. Um, can, don't... You, um, can, can you bring up um, five or six more dices, please? Uh, the same kind? Not the normal ones. Just like regular dice like this. Oh, I think I see what you're doing here. Stone is the difficultest one. You know what I mean? So we have like an... Yeah. So are we rolling these to see the difficulty for these guys? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess six for mountain is okay. I like where you, I like what you're thinking. But it seems um, it would seem weird if it took like six to enter a regular field and like two to enter a forest, you know. Right, then um, the the lowest one should have a one, and then a two, and then a three. Oh, that's not a bad idea. So let's see. We have 
How many terrain pieces? Four terrain pieces? Yeah, we, we missed one. We missed, uh, we missed the fields. Oh, we missed the regular grass. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So one more dice. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, because the fields don't really have an icon like that, but we can just roll these four dice and we can place the values based on lowest to highest, where field is the lowest. I'm sorry, plains lowest, field second, woods third. Oh, we need a th uh, one for the hills as well. So I could build like a little uh, card that has all five of those different uh, styles. And then we could put the dice on there once they're rolled lowest to highest. God, this, this map would be sucking to move on. <laughs> One thing yeah. uh, make, makes us um, one and one and a two are one. Three and a four are two. Five and a six are three. You know. Yeah. So it doesn't get that high. So this would be a one. This would be a two. Two, three. Okay. I like that idea. I wonder, I mean, we could, uh, more if we could roll D4 dices, because the highest they go is four. So yeah, that makes sense, yeah. It's, yeah, Let me it's see the that. same. Yeah, we just wouldn't have to do the, the math or whatever. The math, math is... <laughs> yeah. You can put an, an icon for the fields and for the, the other terrains. Because we only got here food, wood, stone. There are two missing on the side. Yeah, I think that would be like a card or something so that you could set it off the side of the table so everybody could see it. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, and that way we could just put those dice on there or just put a number icon on there so that we know what the movements are for like the rest of the game. It sets the movements for the game. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So this one would be one, two, two, four, and four. So hills and mountains would be hard to travel in, but everything else is pretty easy. Yeah. Well, and then the question becomes, you know, do we... <clears throat> The idea originally was you kind of got to build up movement speed to be able to get across the map that wouldn't be as random as a roll. So I wonder what a good way to, to do that would be. I mean random. You like random better? No, how, how, how do you mean random? Well, if we were to say, if we were to just like take a dice out and roll... Then, like, say, for example, let me show you. Let's say if it were my turn and I wanted to roll, I could grab this dice, roll it, and I got a six. So that means where I am right now, I'm in hills. If I wanted to go to the mountains, that's a four. Then you got two I would have points. two left. So so then I could move there also. But what we could do is require movement points to collect resources. What do you think about so that? You need, so you need, um, for example, one movement point to get one resource? Yeah. yeah. So if you have uh, moved to the, to the mountain, you could use the rest of the other two points to gather these uh, resources. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's, it's too it's too easy if you go on the on the on the file and get get the resources. It would be too easy. Yeah, I agree. And then the thing becomes, <clears throat> we need to build a town. So it's like those don't go automatically into your hand. You just carry them with you. And so um, you have to get them back to your town in order to collect them. Does that make any sense? So your starting point is your hometown. Yeah, and we could put an icon down for that. Let me see what I got here. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what do they have for... Is there anything in here? Okay, there's a chest. All right, so that little chest right there. So put that at your starting point. So that's like, that's your town. So I just moved, I just moved into this area. I've got two points left so I can collect these resources. Yep. So I'm standing on top of them, but now my movement points are over. I can't do anything else for the rest of my turn. So now you take a dice roll. This uh, white dice over here. Oh, yeah, I don't have a card. I see what you're saying. You want me to make those tokens. Hang on real quick. I apologize. I'm, I'm kind of dumb, so you have to say, hey, dummy, do this. <laughs> All right, so we need one for the field. Nope, 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 nope. We already got one for the field. Cancel. Need one for the planes. Cloud. Upload. And that one's not working. Um, we need um we have wood, we have food, we have plane. Oh, sorry. My bad. Uh custom planes zero one. Cloud, upload. It's not letting me do that one. Doesn't like it. So plane zero zero one. Okay, planes zero zero one. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work off screen here. It looks like import. There we go. And what's the other one we need? Hills. No stone, we got already stone. Yeah, I'm changing it. Need this one way where your home base is. Uh, let's see. Hills. Cloud. Upload. Not valid file. Which is strange, because I'm already using that file, I thought. Huh. Local not work. Root folder, hills one, upload. I don't know why it's not letting me do those twice. Uh, is it going to freeze up on me? All right, it's trying. This one, go over. Yeah, it's trying right now. Hang on, bud. Okay. Well, where'd it go? It disappeared. Sorry, I was just trying to put that other icon down real quick. No problem. Hills, custom. Nope. 
hills, cloud, upload, import, flip it. There we go. It's not let me put the same picture up twice for some reason. All right. It this make, doesn't make sense. Planes, food, wood, hills. Yeah. What do you think? It makes sense, yeah. Okay, so roll that dice. Let's see what you get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can move into that... Um, any one of those planes. Yeah, and normally, of course, that would be... Um, we would be exposing these pieces as we went. All right, well, since we've gotten... We've gotten pretty good going so far, do you want to reset the game and start again yeah why not yeah okay so what we'll have to do is grab all these tokens and put them in their individual bags first i thought there was a way to group There you go. Will it let you put anything back in the infinity bag? It's not seeming to let me do it. Is the issue here? Hmm. Now, I think the problem with these tiles are if we keep them grouped when they go in the bag they'll come out grouped so i, I gotta ungroup them don't forget the ones in your hand too can you just shuffle them or something like this i don't think so every time i group them they stay grouped i think we can try it though Let me try to put them all in the bag and see what happens. Oh, Jehovah, you can you can uh, use shuffle on the bag. There's, there's, there's an option. Yeah, but see how it only says 12? I think when we draw, we're going to draw a whole stack. Yeah, see, I drew like a bunch of them. So we'll have to separate them out and then put them back in.
All right, now we can put him in the bag. Okay, cool. So we'll get these um, dice and move them away as well. All right, I'll move that out of the way. Sweet. And now we build the map. Do, do we roll the dice who starts or? Uh, sure, let's roll, see who gets the highest. Go ahead. Ooh, that was close. All right, I'll start. We'll do it like we did before. No peeking this time. Yes, sir. Oh, I need to turn the grid back on. Hang on. Okay. So we are attempting the first little playthrough here. Morph just drew one, so I can draw one. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. Whoop. All right. So this will be kind of a slow part of the game, but I think it's part of the strategy. Because we're getting to build the map. I think this I think this will be interesting having a different map every game. Yeah. I'm going to build up a bunch of stuff right down here. See if he catches on to what I'm doing. <laughs> because eventually you're going to want to create choke points to kind of protect where you damn bug, where you want to be.
Oh, Morse building up quite a bit over there where he is, too. Now, you don't have to be over there. I mean, you can pick wherever you want. Oh, I like that. I like what you did there. Last one. That's pretty cool. It looks completely different than it did last time. Oh, I guess we roll the dice again and it starts. Yeah, I think that would be fair. Go ahead. Boom. Ooh. Maybe um, you think I should create dice for each team? Maybe you have your own dice? Yeah, 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 makes sense. All right, well, hang on. I want my own dice. What color? Um, yeah, green and blue. Makes sense. If you ho hover over it and hit the plus key, it'll get bigger. All right. So I go first. Yes, sir. Your turn, sir. Um, I guess you can immediately um, turn up the uh, switch the cards around. I guess. Do you want to do that right now, or after you place yours? Oh well, maybe that would oh, give no, you no, no, an no. advantage, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I have to figure this out. What do you think? If if I set mine down, or the first player sets theirs down, they flip them all up. They see what they have immediately, but that also gives you an opportunity to see, hey, that's something good right there. What do you think? I don't know. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> no, just let's let let it play like the first time. I'm gonna I'm gonna place my okay. my infantry. Sorry, I just turned the grid off so you can place it now. All right, let's flip. So what we're doing here, if you've been watching the stream. Um, once we're, we are starting, they uh, got immediately in our hands, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I would put them down on the board first and then collect them. And these will stack up to five. <clears throat> yeah, this hidden map is a cool aspect because you don't even get to start populating resources until you open the squares. Okay, so we got them all, right? All the stuff is down. So, yeah. so it's my turn. I'll go ahead and collect my resources. All 
All right, hang on. I didn't change the bags to be able to go in our hands, so let's see if I can do that. So we'll probably, this round at least, have to make these where they'll go in our hands. All right, so I've collected my wood. And now I roll to see my movement. Exactly. All right, so I got a five. So one, two, three, four, and four. All right, that's pretty easy. Okay, so I got a five. It's going to take me two. So I got a five. It'll take me two to move into this um, field area. So I have three left. And I'm going to collect my two resources. That'll be two. And then I've only got one left, but it takes three to get back home. So do our points carry over or do they just end? Um, how would you, how would you, um, how would you show it with another dust? Uh, well, we could do a counter. Hang on, let's see. Opponents. Counter. So, so each of us get this little counter here to keep up with our movement points. So I've got one movement point left. But that's going to be kind of crazy. So eventually, you know, we'll have armies and everything else on this map. Is that the best way to do that? I don't know. How many counters are you going to have out here? One for every person you get? Or, you know what? No, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. Check this out. I was hoping if you ho hovered over my guy, it would say how many movement points I have. Does it say that? I don't see it. Say movement one. Oh, you do see it say movement one? Yeah, if you press uh, the right mouse button. Yeah, I was hoping we wouldn't have to do that. It'd be cool, too, if we had, like, a little wagon or something that we could place those icons in. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Right, let's go ahead and let you move. It's, it's my turn. Yeah, so grab your resources. Oh, you got to make sure that you can put them in your hand. So these first ones, at one, least. One, one yeah. was falling off the table. <laughs> it went, it, yeah, it went back to where it was. Actually, it's right there. So these first few, we'll have to right-click so we can put them in our hands. Three. 
So you could move into one of those grass fields, the plains, and uh, collect. And that would also reveal a tile. Oh, two tiles. Yeah, you can un you can open both those tiles now. Uh, okay, I don't have to go on them. I have just to get near them. Yeah, as long as they're touching the tile that you're on, they should be open. There you go. So next turn, after your turn's over, we start stacking up resources. Those will start gaining resources now. But if you collect those resources that you have, if you're collecting them, then that's all of your movement points. Yep. All right, I changed it to movement zero. There's, there's got to be a better way to do that. I'll figure that out. Um, all right, so it's the beginning of the turn, so we start throwing down resources. Um, I think there should be a limit of how many resources on one tie could be. I think five. What do you think about that? Five. Okay. Okay. And that's so five we total. Have, we, have, we have to sort them. Yeah, I'm trying to stack them on top of each other. Okay, that's that's going to get cumbersome pretty quick. While you're doing that, I'm going to see if there's a something I can use for a wagon here. Mm, a bag. Uh, let's see. Color. I think I'm green. Morph is blue. So that bag kind of stays on the table so we can search it. But that's like when we uh, grab our resources that we're taking back to our base, that's where we put them. So the resources that you're already standing on, you can go ahead and put those in the bag from the previous turn. Yeah, and I can search that bag, and you can search mine, too. All right, are the resources in the correct order? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so I'll throw the dice. Ooh. 
Wah, wah. But that's all I need to get home. Oh, it's the beginning of our turn, too. We can go ahead and collect that. I can collect that wood. All right, so I might have to make new infinity bags because it's not letting me do it on hand. Hang on, let me try something else. All right, that's stone. Let's see here. All right, that worked. Give me just a second more. Okay, so that's done. Now I can move back, or I can grab these resources too. Hmm. I think I'm going to move back. So I use three. I still have one more that I can use because I had one left over from last time. And then I got to change my movement back to zero now. All right. <clears throat> so my turn's over. And I never dropped the stuff off at my house, so I still have those things in my bag. All right, so now you would roll your dice. Oh, yeah, collect your wood, sorry. You'll have to switch it to hand, the ones that are on there right now. But from now on, what comes out of the infinity bag should be able to go to your hand automatically. Oh, come on. <clears throat> All right, so Done. Okay. So, how many movement points do you have left? Um, I, I I rolled a two, and I need to get two together over there. So, no no more movement. No, you only needed one to get in that one. 
That's this first one, although the icon's not correct. That's just a one. Oh, the icon's not correct. Okay. Okay. So you have, you can pick up one of these and put it in your bag right now, or you can just keep an extra movement point for next time. Yeah, go ahead and put it in your uh, bag over there. Nope, that's the infinity bag. There you go. And I think when you drop it off at home, it's free. It's just picking them up. Costs something. Okay, so that was your last movement point then. Yes, sir. All right, so I roll my dice. Four. So that's two. Uh, it's going to take three to get back. So I have two more points. I'm going to take two of these and put them in my bag. All right, my turn's over. So now we would have to populate. You know, I was thinking about this. What if we, let's think about this for a second. What if we put those little counters on here and label them? And instead of having to put these things out here, we can just put, we can just hit the, the counter and make it count up. Let me, I'll show you an example of what I mean. See if you hover over it, it says zero wood. And instead of moving these icons, we could just go like, right? Right. You think that's better than having to move tiles all the time? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know what's better. What do you think? Because then in our hand, we would have counters like this as well, and that's what we would use to calculate. I don't know. I, I kind of like having the icons. Do you think it's, unless you think it's really a pain in the ass to have to stack them every time? I don't know. It's only up to five, right? It's up to five, yeah. Yeah, let's just keep stacking, I guess. I'm getting ahead of ourselves. All right, so I guess we start so stacking. Which, uh, there's one problem. Yes, sir. Uh, for example, here, there are two wood and two food. Which one will come next? Why don't we go with... Um, I don't know. That's a good question. What do you think? I was thinking my first immediate thought was maybe the, the food would always be first. It'd be like food, wood, wood, or stone. 
like the scale on the left side here? Yeah, kind of. So if it came down to like this one where you can only put one more, it would be food. But on the one where it was stone and wood, it would be wood. It would be wood. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Okay, is that all of them? That might be hard to keep up with after a while. And maybe, maybe there's a way that um, these different tiles um, produce it by their own, up to five. Yeah, I mean, eventually, once they get up to five, we won't have to keep stacking. That's true. And my bag already has four. How many do you have in your bag? Because you can only carry five as well. I got three. Okay. All right, so it's my turn again. I'll go ahead and collect the wood in my town. <clears throat> All right, and then I roll. Got a four, so... I could get one resource and move back to my town. I think I'll do that. So it was one movement point to get the resource and then three to move back into the woods. And I'm going to dump my cargo into my, uh, my hand here. Uh, can I can I just uh, try something? Yes, sir. Okay, what were you doing? Um, I was a little bit uh, confused because when you when you go on right click on on the dice. There's a rotation value, but it only shows uh, the one you were um, rolling, so never mind. Oh, I see. It tells you what you're on, basically. Yeah. 
Okay, <clears throat> so this phase of the game that we're in now is basically just collecting a bunch of stuff um, and revealing the map and those kind of things. So I'll have to come up with like rules on, you know, you can build roads and things like that and what those values are, right? So maybe if you built a road <clears throat> between two tiles, then that would create a um, like a minus one on your movement penalty. Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, I'm just thinking out loud so we can kind of talk about how to do this. Um, yeah. I think I've been streaming long enough too. Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and enter, uh, finish the stream, <clears throat> get that ready for tomorrow, and uh, we can continue because I'm going to open up this bottle of Jack and get this party started, son. <laughs> are you t are you totally bored yet? No, I'm not. No, no, I'm playing or not? Yeah, man. All right, hang on. All right, guys, that's about enough for tonight. I appreciate you watching this. If you liked it, hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. If you're watching on the stream, I appreciate it. Sorry my um, chat isn't working, so if you've been chatting, I have not seen you. I totally apologize about that. But I hope you like what you're seeing so far. We're building this game. So until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Mm -hmm.